what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On Thursday, a man who impregnated 14-year-old twins and their 12-year-old little sister while living in their home was sentenced to 27 years in prison. Who is this low-down, dirty, rotten scoundrel, one might ask? His name is Arnold Perry. He's 34 years old, and he was sentenced after pleading guilty to two counts of rape and one count of sexual battery. Investigators say that he impregnated the 14-year-old twins and their 12-year-old little sister. The girl's mother allowed him to live in the home because he had nowhere else to go. One of the twins had an abortion. The other two kept the babies because they were too far along. His lawyer argued that his client should be sentenced to 15 to 16 years in prison due to a childhood brain injury that stops him from feeling remorse. <sighs> okay, so this guy wins the mother's trust. She moves him in and he betrays her trust. I know what y'all thinking right off the rip. How could a mother allow something like this to happen? She got to be the worst mother in the world. I say pump your brakes. And, and this is me though, like it, it, may, it angers me. Don't get me wrong, it angers me too. The first thing you gotta, you start trying to, you know, find who's to blame for this, who's to blame. First and foremost, first and foremost, you got to blame the perpetrator. The mother didn't commit a crime. Yes, you can say that there were some things that she overlooked and how could she not know? And, and I'm going to tell you this, there's a remote chance that she knew all along. We don't really know the whole story. So there's a chance, there's an outside chance, but let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's say she did not know. Man, this type of thing happens more often than anybody would guess. And you can have a cunning person who can get over on the most detailed person, the most aware person. I mean, you got some people out there who are very convincing. According to authorities, the abuse took place for a period of two years. That's from 2014 to 2016. Man, that is a long time to have a predator in your home preying on your children and you not knowing, not having a clue. Again, it can happen and it did happen. Now, I know some of the women out there may be thinking, well, you know, if you got girls in the house, first and foremost, if you bring a man into your home who's not the biological father and you got girls, then you need to be very, very aware of what's going on in your home. You got to be very, very careful. You got to be mindful. This is a man, right? You got to be always mindful. That is a man. So when you consider that and the mother on top of like, leaving her kids unsupervised, well, meaning that she wasn't there. She wasn't watching over her kids. And this guy had access to her kids. She also didn't do things like, you know, checking the children's uh, sanitary pads, right? Think about what I'm saying. If you got little girls, these girls are 12 years old and 14 years old, then they're having regular cycles. You know, if the mother is buying pads and they're not using those pads, then you got to ask questions, you know, because you can tell, like, look, man, I'm, I've been spending a bunch of money and this this kind of money I normally spend and now I'm spending this kind of money. It's something ain't adding up right, right? Now, granted that the 12-year-old was probably what, the, the, 
if this was happening for two years, then the 12 year old, he started on the 12 year old at 10 and the 14 year olds at 12. Man. When you look at it like that, man, that is a very sad situation. Those girls are going to be damaged for life. I mean, not to say that they won't have a productive life, but that is going to do something to them mentally. That's cold-blooded. A woman with kids got to be very, very careful. A man with kids, I don't give a damn if you got girls or boys. Man, these predators out here, and they going strong, and a lot of them getting away, and a lot of them are being protected by government officials. A lot of them are getting passes. I mean, look at the president, man, how he defends sexual predators. I mean, it's, and like I said before, oftentimes people who defend sexual predators are sexual predators themselves. So they almost got to do that because that's how they keep the heat off of them. Just in case the heat come back on them, then they don't get it as hard. That's, that's the way they operate. This dude was at the home with the mother Quite possibly, he didn't have anywhere to go because wherever he was before that, he probably did the exact same thing to somebody else's children. It's the reason why he didn't have anywhere to go at 32 years old. Now he's 34, so at 32 years old, he had nowhere to go. Can't blame the mom. I mean, I, I, I put some responsibility on her for, for not doing due diligence, but this could really happen to anybody and it does happen to the most diligent parents. I mean, look at though all of those parents who were deceived by that doctor, what's his name, Nazar, the, the uh, Olympic doctor who raped all of those girls all of those years and they just caught up with him, and it could happen. So, again, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm not one of the type of cats that, that get into blaming the victim. The mother has already suffered enough. You don't think that she is hurting right now? You don't think that she's sick to her stomach? Like, like every day she thinks about something like this, like, you know, what she should have done? You don't think she's kicking herself enough? She's going to bed, waking up with this every single day? Yeah, she got to be going through it. So I can't, I can't put that on her. I'm not going to blame the victim. I'm going to blame the perpetrator. I'm sure a lot of y'all are going in on the mother right now. But the bigger problem is, why do men rape? Why do men take advantage of little children, innocent children? Why do women do that? I can't go in on the mother. The mother is a victim too. This is all Arnold Perry's doing. He's the criminal. He's in the wrong. He's at fault. He is the problem. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.